All right, so could you please introduce yourself and tell me what course you teach? Yes, my name is He Jung Chang. I'm an assistant professor at the Department of Molecular and Integrated Physiology. I teach MCV 461, Neuro 461, which is Cellular and Molecular Neuroscience. All right, and when is the course typically offered? During fall hmm. semester, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, typically in the afternoon. Right. Uh, could you give me a brief overview of what, is what, of what is covered in the course and what are the learning goals of the course? Mm -hmm. So the main subjects that we cover in this course is really to understand fundamentally how brain or central nervous system and peripheral nervous system works and we break down into molecular cellular components of these um, important organs. So we learn from how neurons fire action potential all the way to how neurons communicate each other through synaptic transmission. We also learn uh, molecularly how neurons develop or how glia develops from the stem cells and eventually to the brain. And the most important aspect or the highlight of this course is really we try to learn molecular cellular mechanisms of how we learn and um, encode memory in our brain. All right, awesome. Um, so what is the format of the course? Like, are there discuss discussion sections? Um, is it taught in a lecture or a seminar format? And then are there eye, cl eye clickers used in the course? Right, so I use all of the above. <laughs> <laughs> so normally within a week, because I give three lectures per week, Monday and Wednesday, I give lectures on the fundamental principle of neuroscience. And on Friday, I ask um, the students to read one manuscript, up-to-date uh, phenomenal manuscript, on neurological disease or any other topics that are related to that previous Monday, Wednesday lectures. For instance, if we learned about what is the cellular components of the neuron, for instance, there's tau protein. Then on Friday, we'll learn or read about Alzheimer's disease manuscript, which talks about the um, dysfunction of tau. And Alzheimer's disease is basically in part caused by tau pathy, the uh, uh, pathological function of tau. So we, you know, I offer both lectures and discussion, discussion session on Friday. And also, I do have eye click of questions every lecture to remind students what we are learning. And for the students' participation, I give bonus points <laughs> for, for eye click of part participation. Also, we have four uh, non accumulative exams, as well as I have. Uh, problem sets and reading assignments that are break down to anywhere from four to six um, uh, assignments per person. So normally it's really well spread out that if you didn't do well in one exam, it's not going to be your end of the day. Uh, it's really well spread out that you can make up for it by um, doing well in the problem sets and reading assignments. Um, but also the exams are really there to help you learn, not to really make you uh, suffer through the exam. It's really about learning. So that's how my course is structured. All right, awesome. So I'm going to skip a few of these then. So mm -hmm. uh, uh, is there a required textbook for your class? Yes, the required textbook is Fundamental Neuroscience, um, fourth edition by Squire et al. It's a very wonderful book, but it is definitely um, you know, upper undergraduate to graduate level. So I do have a recommended book since a lot of students who are taking my class also take Dr. Mark Nelson's class, which is MCB 314, Introduction to Neurobiology. Uh, that course requires this textbook, Neuroscience, Exploring the Brain by Mark Baer, the third edition. And so both books are really great um, uh, books to have and multiple copies will be available in the library for you to check out and, and read. All right. Uh, so do you provide students with PowerPoint, PowerPoint slides uh, or lecture outlines before class? Yes, I do have uh, PowerPoint slides um, in the PDF format loaded onto Moodle site of this course. 
so that the students can you know freely download or print out the lectures even prior to my lecture day okay and then um, what kinds of background knowledge do I need uh, to take this course and are there any prerequisites yes uh, the prerequisites courses are MCB 250 which is molecular genetics or 252 which is cells tissues and development course um, I think it's very important to know the fundamental of how cells work um, before you can take my class which is 400 level it's a it's a lot more detailed um, lectures will be given and I just you know, I give lectures <clears throat> on the basis that the students already have the fundamental knowledge of how the genetics and cellular molecular aspects of the cell works. All right, awesome. And uh, how do topics covered in your course apply to uh, current research uh, and scientific advancements? Mm -hmm. It's completely intertwined with this course because we do, almost every week, the students are required to read um, a paper because we're going to discuss about that paper on Friday. Um, I usually open that Friday lecture with the case study, almost like a medical report, and then we move into the basic background of that disease, <clears throat> neurological diseases, and then we discuss about the paper, what the major findings are. So we really cover the up-to-date, most you know, seminal work on trying to find the pathogenic mechanisms of neurological diseases. And that diseases span from Alzheimer's disease to pain to epilepsy to Huntington disease and even drug addiction. All right. And then uh, what opportunities do you provide outside of class for students to ask questions or get assistance? Mm -hmm. So I have one hour per week um, office hour at right here at my office. My TA also has one um, hour office hour per week in different day than my office hour. And I do take... Um, a, you know, separate appointments as long as the students email email me prior and make an arrangement to meet um, together to discuss the, the lecture materials or, or to answer their questions. All right. And then is there anything else you'd like to tell us about your course? Um, well, uh, the courses are really, I think it's fun because it's not just about lectures and I'm just uh, telling you what those knowledges are. It's really about uh, not only taking and embracing those knowledges, but to apply that knowledge to, to read uh, up-to-date manuscript on neurological diseases. So hopefully all the students will enjoy this class and I hope many, many of you will uh, register to my course early because <laughs> it seems the course is um, filled up within a couple of days. So. Yeah, please register. <laughs> All right. You. Thank you very much.